But welcome to the Blue Canyon Canyon course. This is the championship course that had the Johnny Walker on it three times around the turn of the century. And it's a toughie. Oh no. And that's just a little bit of a leak. Now, I was late to the course today because there'd been a huge thunderstorm and uh, there'd been a huge pile-up on the way here. So, no driving range. And I muck up the recording here a little bit, as you do from okay. time to time. Maybe a par. So I've got this for my par. As you can see, I'm already on record. So when I go back to the camera, I switch it off. Quick look at the hole to see where the grain's going and miss the putt. On a forward tee here, it's normally about 30 yards longer. A little, left. And a little tug to the left. Yeah, it's still raining a little bit, but not much. On the yeah. Nick left. And I'm left with this. I'm a little bit surprised that the green is slow. But we got a par, so, you know, we're on the card and doing just fine. And even though this is such a short... Yeah, as I was saying, even though this is such a short putt, there's quite a lot of turn on it. Yeah, my computer decided to do an update and cut me voiceover off. Do you know what? Everything's going wrong at the moment. Right, the third oh hole. <laughs> Bit of a tight par for this. And I'm just going straight at that tree. Oh no. But that ain't straight. Okay, I'll okay. okay. And well this this is just pure fun. Alright. Okay. Fairway. <laughs> so I've just lasered the flag at a hundred. Uh, what I've got is a sand wedge. So I'm just trying to close the face down and get it to the hole. Only just. Yeah, needed gut wedge. <laughs> yeah, that can be a problem sometimes when you're stuck on the cart path. I mean, I'm past the hundred yard markers, but the flag is way at the back, so I had a hundred yards. And sandwich was never going to get there. So the flag wasn't at the back, it's actually in the middle. So I'm a little confused wow, here at the moment. Left. Was that putt tearing off? Big, big left. I knew that I was in trouble with my caddy today. And I don't right quite there. understand what's going on. She's looking at the yardage markers and bringing me one club. And that one club is always the wrong club. Again. That's one of the joys of driving the cart path, or in this case, there wasn't a lot of cart path. So we were actually driving the estate road a lot of the time, which meant I was as much as a hundred yards okay. from my ball. And this is the monkey grass, oh, and sometimes you just can't get club on back of ball properly. The famous Thailand monkey grass strikes again. Yeah, you've got to hit the fairways on some of these courses because this broadleaf grass, it's very difficult to get decent contact on the ball. And with the cart path being way, way down, we were running up and down the bank trying to find the golf ball. So it does make life a little harder at times out here when you're on cart path only. You're driving down, straining your neck, trying to find the golf ball. So another bogey coming up. Doesn't matter. This is a beautiful golf course. I'm learning the course. All right, the caddy's not top notch, granted. But uh, we get to come back again, and hopefully we can drive the fairways and uh, make life a little easier. Good. Yeah. That's good. 
Another tight par four, but the driving is getting better. <laughs> no warm up, takes you four holes to warm up. Now I know I'm in trouble here. I got 115 uphill. I got a pitching wedge, which just isn't enough. And of course, trying to overpower the club, I hit it badly. Okay. See, she's got two yeah, other I had clubs there. 115 uphill, and I needed nine iron, but the biggest club we had was a wedge. <laughs> so I was never going to make it. And those two other clubs was my gap wedge and my sand wedge. Now this is really heavy stuff I've got to try and get out of. par 5 and I've just been told the water is about 240 yards away. Oh, Where's your three wood when you want it? Well it's a long way away. This is all I can do from here out of this monkey grass. A time. And even that's come out very very low. A bad shot, but it's good. So I get up to the ball, laser it, 136, uphill, I want my 7 iron, I've got an 8. And again, trying to overpower it, you just can't hit it straight. It's not a good day. Well, it's not going well, is it guys? You'll have to excuse my frustration. This is one part of Thailand I dislike. But my, my cart's 30, 70 yards away from a ball. What club do I need? And quite often we've got the wrong one. It's hard enough without trying to play golf with the wrong damn golf club. This is going to take some finding. Oh, not enough. It's gone. And the trouble with trying to overpower clubs all the time is you start losing your rhythm. And that's the left one. It's on, but it's a long way. I basically started reading the putts myself as well. Because simply the lines she's given me are quite poor. And I can't read grain, you know, I, I, I desperately need a good caddy. And when you've got a poor caddy, oh, it's not much fun. <laughs> Bunker down the left, so I'm going to try with the draw. Okay. All right then, guys. A little bit of a awakening there. I was by the 150 yard marker. So the caddy's naturally brought 7 iron because it's a little bit downhill and whatever. And I'm lasering the flag and it's saying 167. And she's saying, no, 150. I said, laser doesn't tell lies, it's 167. I said, I bet that's 150 to the front. And she's sort of like scratching her head. So in eight holes, I've figured out something that my caddy hasn't figured out in 10 years of working here. Bloody yarded markers are to the front because it's a championship course and they like to do that. But it didn't have screw with your head. Right, I feel so much better now.
That's a good one. A 163 up this hill, I want my 5 iron. So let's close the face of the 6 iron. Try and rip a big hook into this green. Well, at least I managed that shot. On. On the green. Right, see you on the back. Well, as soon as I got on this tee, I realised I wanted the five wood, and I've got my driver. So I've tried to draw it, and of course I've snapped it. I am entering. I'm not very happy mode. Sadly, I just caught the end of this tree here, and I've dropped it in the sand. Now these bunkers have been refilled and they're very difficult to play out of to actually make decent contact with the ball I wanted my gap wedge there and I had my sand wedge so now we're in the next bunker and there's just there's just so much sand I mean look at this I could dig down six inches there and I gotta say that my head is completely gone I am so... I'm just losing it. Anyway, let's see if we can get this up and down and try and save something out of this very short par 4. Well, at least that one was decent. Okay. Okay. Monumental cock up. Yeah. Can't see any of that from the tee box. And I was told to hit down the left hand side, so I thought, oh, I'll try a little draw. And this is the result. What's this going to be? Is it going to be six or a seven? I can't remember, I lost count. Okay. Just been told the water is 230 yards away. And, um,. I'm just trying to hit a soft drive. I'm really starting to lose my rag. Bunker. Fortunately, I can hit a lady boy out of a bunker. So this isn't too much of a problem. And then that leaves me 150 up the hill to the green. Okay really do with my six iron and I've got a seven you know sometimes I think I'm a little bit too polite that I really should send her the 60 yards back to the car and get me the right damn club but there's a bit of a language barrier I suppose I could just walk the 60 yards back to the car myself Perhaps I should have done. But I just do not know how to deal with these situations. Well, I can't blame the caddy for this one. 
That's a chuff. Go. Bogey. <sighs> Sorry guys, it's uh, back to the frustration. Over there. I can walk that way. Okay. Yeah. Part five, so driver. Get on the tee. Water, 230 yards. Right, so I want me three wood, maybe be five wood. And the golf cart 60 yards away. You think, do you send her back? Well, if, if the golf cart was right next to the tee, yes you do. The 60 yards away, I've got two choices. Either try and knock the cover off the ball and get over the water, or try and hit some sort of weak driver. So, yeah, so three over the front, three over the back after two holes. Let's crack on, do the best I can with what I've got. Not quite sure where I'm going here. I've been told to drive it straight down the path. That moves about five yards right on the wind. And I'm here. Nowhere near the fairway. Chop it back up there. Leaves me 101, which is a nice lazy wedge. And that is a nice lazy wedge. Right down the banner. Yeah, I enjoyed that one. Bad time. And that's why I enjoyed that one. That was a couple of feet. There we go. Right, the next uh, hole is a dog leg right okay. around the canyon. And I've been told to drive left of the trees. So I drive left of the trees. Absolutely perfect. But I got this horrible lie. This is screaming out for a 5-iron aimed way left and a nice control swing. But I got a 6. So I've got to try and knock the cover off this. And I'm not really very good at knocking the cover off the golf ball. Fucking pissed off now. Right, the caddies brought me a 7 and an 8 iron. I wanted the 9. Fortunately, the cart path is next to the tee. So he went and got a 9. She's told me I can't reach with a 9. Well, I can not only reach with a 9, but it's actually a bit big. But this is the first time she's actually brought more than one club and clubs which are actually longer than I need. I mean, normally a caddy, when you're on the cart path, brings three clubs, covers all situations. And yet, I'm still reading my own putts because I've lost faith in her completely. But nice view of the clubhouse. Right, so the fairway is out to the right of the bunker underneath that aeroplane. I've been told to drive over the mounds, over the rough, well to the left of the fairway. And I can't quite compute what's going on. And I know there's water over there. So the plan was to ride the wind and unfortunately I hit a horrible nasty hook and hit one of these trees. And out of the monkey grass sometimes you knife it. So I've taken a drop and I'm losing the will to live. This is the hybrid. I'm not even pointing the right direction. I've 
basically I've had enough well, of this round of golf. I bet Tiger's caddy knew this course better than this lady who's been working here 10 years. But you know, they, they have a lot of old golfers who hit driver everywhere, so they're used to hitting driver everywhere. If I'd actually hit my driver properly, I'd have been in that water in one instead of two. I'm, I'm just getting very, very frustrated right now because I don't know my way around. I can't see where I'm going and the person who I'm paying can't tell me where I'm going. Yeah, I've just added up. I've had 90 rounds of golf in Thailand and I've never had a situation like this before in my life. It's on. Where you can't see where you're going and the caddy can't tell you where you're going. Doesn't know where the hazards are. Yeah. Don't, doesn't know the yardages. Hasn't figured out how far you hit the ball. What I've got to drive here for, I have no idea. So I've hit it up the right and it is in the fairway. And I told the caddy, just stay in the golf cart and walk across with the laser and figure it out. Well, I wanted me a time when she's brought me a sand wedge. Oh. But all I can do is kind of like lean back on it and see if I can hit it as high as I can over this tree. And failed. So let's give it another go. You know, and the body language says it all. I just do not want to be there on the golf course with this caddy. And after three whacks with the sand wedge. Yeah, so I was closer to the green than the golf cart and we come with a sand wedge which won't reach. This is stupid, fucking stupid. Yeah, this is where golf in Thailand gets hard work. The cart was a hundred yards away, brought me a sand wedge. When I got to the ball, I got no shot. I wanted to chip and run it in here with a nine iron or an eight iron. All I got is a sand wedge. I've given up on this round. Next time, I hope I get a better caddy. So, with three whacks with the sand wedge, I've now finally got a shot that requires the sand wedge. I say, I just don't want to be here. Right, on the next hole, I go and laser it. Is anybody counting? Because I'm not. I've had enough. The caddy brings me driver. So I go back for the hybrid and topped it. So this is my second tee shot. Three off the tee. This is a horrible hole because you can't see anything from the tee box. You can't see the green, you can't see the water, you can't see the hazards. This is possibly one of the worst holes I've ever played anywhere in the world. So, what am I? I'm about 15 over. Let's see if I can finish this round get off this golf course and get away from this caddy. Never known anything like it in 90 rounds of golf. But I get to come back and I get a second go at this course. The second time around I have an absolutely amazing caddy. I think I should be able to beat 85.